double dealing character. What does that even mean? Well, only one way to find out is to open the game, which I haven't done yet miraculously. Hello everybody and welcome to the double dealing character. Now uh this is gonna be a fun episode because I actually changed the audio volume because somebody in the comments said that the thing was way too quiet and I agree, I've always felt that it was way too quiet. So I decided to turn it up. So instead of sounding like this, it's going to start sounding like this. I know it's not that much of a change, but it's the best I can do. I literally have my mic volume turned all the way up in OBS. And when I'm editing this, I'm going to see if I can, like, increase the gain at all. I don't know. Is that a thing I can do? Only one way to find out. But this is going to be how I'll try to make the audio from now on. Hopefully you'll actually be able to hear the game better because I've made it a little louder than usual. Usually it's super quiet because I don't want to repeat of that one time the game was louder than my voice. What a nightmare that was. So I've just been setting it like super low as, as a precaution thing. You, you get the idea, you get the picture. So this, this one has a manual too, so I think I'm going to read that. Oh boy, so it's like 10 desires where you have two shot types. That's what I'm reading on the website anyway. And yeah, it's best not to get hit. So... Her rod thingy is coming to life. That's not good. Alright, really uh, simple. Actually, wait, do I have any notes on this game? Ah, yes, I do. So, uh... I've been writing some things down that people have been telling me to do. For example, in this notes thing, I have read the manual of 13, because somebody told me that I need to read that, so I did. And also here it says to at least try to beat the stage 4 boss before playing 14.3. Can't guarantee it, but I'm certainly going to try. And all the other things pertain to later games, so that's about it. The options. Just the same old boring stuff. The curse difficulty, wow, okay. I hope this video turns out alright. I hope I don't like peak or cliff at any point. Because that would be bad because that's not what you're supposed to do with audio. Alright. Alright, so she has it, or she doesn't have it. Okay. This one seems interesting. There's weird red stuff coming out. Like little swirly dudes. I almost got hit by that because I was being careless. Oh yeah, that is... Oh. Yeah, that is pretty cool. So both shots have a kind of homing this time. Oh, whoops. I am... I was just being careless and not paying attention. I bet that shot's good for dealing with bosses. Yeah, the rod's just attacking... Oh wait, oh, I didn't even realize who you were for a second. I wonder if that attack is also good for enemies that are grouped together. It seems to like work in an area, doesn't it?
I'm focusing so much on that that I'm forgetting to like hit enemies with my main shot. I got a bonus. Yay. Oh, who is this? Oh, hello, uh... A mermaid, huh? Well, it's convenient that the weapon that hurts the bosses really well is my focus shot, because that's what I use most when I fight bosses. So that works out. That's perfect. Alright, pretty standard stuff for first boss. Yeah. Oh, light piece. Yeah. Okay, so it only attacks while I'm holding the. That makes sense, but I just wanted to check. Alright, yeah, that's... alright. Yeah, but you're using it anyway because it's really convenient. I wonder if the dialogue changes whatsoever if you don't use it. Or if he just says that in general. Like, even though I left it at home, it's still kind of worrying. Oh, that was close. I just want the power. Oh, I get why it's called evasion type, because that one homes in, so you don't need to worry about being in a specific spot, so you can dodge without it affecting you. Whereas if I chose the persuasion needles, then I wouldn't be able to dodge without not being able to hit the enemy. That makes sense. Oh wait, oh, I didn't recognize you at first. I know who you are from the wiki. You can like make your head fly around and stuff. That's pretty weird, but... This is a weird universe, so... Can't judge too hard. I didn't know I went that far. Nice. So you get the best bonus when it's the riskiest, it seems. Because there's like a lot of enemies and bullets all over the place. Yep. And your weird floating head. Yeah, this makes things a lot easier. Well, that would be rather unfortunate because, as far as I can tell, everything has a head of some description. Alright, sweet. Whoa. I didn't know that was gonna start curving towards me. I don't like the attacks that, like, swerve in any direction. I just like when they're, like, obvious and easy to dodge. 
I mean, even if they're not easy to dodge, like, easy to tell where they're going. Ah. I was a little late on pressing X there. I tried, trust me, but it didn't work out in my favor. I have to deal with this music again. Um, the text is in... Okay. I mean, like, the dialogue is in English, so... I can only hope the patch worked. This isn't another, like, perfect cherry blossom, is it? Or the patch just inexplicably didn't work. Oh, there's a piece there. Oh, that is not good for me. Held it for too long. Didn't mean to hold it for that long, but I did because I'm bad. You know, it's good to just move tiny bits. Hmm. Yeah. Getting all them bonuses. Oh. Yeah, I don't want to be close to that. Oh, power up. Yeah. I'm doing good with those bonuses. Sometimes. Sometimes it gets me killed. But so far the more common source of death has been getting hit by bullets. Just normally, like then. They say it's not good to stand near the bottom of the screen, but whenever I try to move up, I get killed. Well, sometimes. Sometimes it actually works out in my favor. Alright, pretty standard mid-boss. Whoa. Okay, I made it through that without much trouble. Their attacks just look scary. I don't like them. Maybe I should be doing that. Nice. Yeah, the bonus thing really helpful. It gives a real incentive to go above the point of collection. There's an actual thing, like an actual point to doing it, and I completely missed it. Come on, I can do better than this. Not this bad, usually. Yeah, pretty much. You want me to destroy you? That's weird. Whoa, going in two different directions. Going from the left and the right. Whoa. Ah. I pay attention to what's coming at me from one side, and I miss the other. Whoa. Whoa! That bomb. Whoa. 
Bam! It just straight up slaps her. Whoa, whoa. Alright. I can manage this. I have the physical ability to manage this. Whoa. There are ones that are coming from the sides and going straight. Okay. Just gotta be able to deal with it. Okay, that's much better. Much better. And here you should. Whoa, that is not fair. How was I supposed to know you'd do that? And how do I avoid it if I'm already trying to avoid bullets? I don't really have much choice or where I'm going to end up when I'm dodging bullets. I just got super lucky that time. Okay. Getting all them bonuses. I'm just chaining bonuses. Oh, there we go. Barely made it. Whoa. Those ones shoot a lot. What is happening out there? It's always something with you people. Oh my god, I didn't I can't believe I made it through that. Whoa. Ah, oh, death bomb. Yeah. Much better than just, you know, dying. Don't scratch things when you're playing Toho. At least pause first. That's what you need to do. Ah, music. I see. You're just throwing all kinds of musical symbols at me. I felt like I was gonna die there. Okay, so they don't hurt you until they, like, hop into the foreground. I did not mean to press that. Well, it actually wasn't my keyboard that time. You remember that time in the last episode where I just used the bomb for no good reason? I found out later that that was my keyboard, and I actually meant to use it that time because it looked like I was trapped there. I actually found out it was my keyboard doing that because it happened again when I was playing Embodiment of Scarlet Devil, and I know that's not a thing in Embodiment of Scarlet Devil. Oh, I missed a life piece. Ah. While I was out of bombs, I learned that the hard way by pressing X and watching in horror as it did nothing. Ah. Well, I guess that's it. See ya. Nah.
How far did I get? Well, I made it to stage 4, but I didn't fight in the boss. Let me give it another shot. It's odd that you have absolutely no dialogue. I mean, I expected it to be like the other times, where you just, like, don't have dialogue as a mid-boss, but then you come back as the boss and then have dialogue. It's like, hey, I was just fighting you earlier. And it's like, and then, like, you say something about something cold, and then you fight English beef. And then you just brawl. Brawl is surely blue brewing. But nope, absolutely no dialogue whatsoever. I liked it better when you could press control to skip the dialogue. It means you can't do it accidentally. I wish they brought back the imperishable night death bombing. That system is so much better. Yeah, you, you see there, I accidentally skipped the dialogue. It'd be great if that was a thing that just can't happen. So, there could be one of two things going on here. Either A, I do worse when I'm commentating on this game, which is ridiculous because in like almost every other game, I do way better when I'm commentating. You know, ironically enough. Or, maybe I'm just really bad the first time around when I don't know what to expect, but once I know what things do, I'm like way better at it. Because I am doing way better than my first run. I've been utilizing that point of collection so much and so well. I also love how I like slowly move side to side while it's happening, just from like the force of swinging. I don't appreciate, however, how I go much lower when I do that. I honestly have no idea why I'm supposed to beat the stage four boss before moving on to the next game, but. I was requested to do so, and I was like, yeah, sure, I can do that. Doesn't seem too hard. It's not like being the whole game or anything. Compared to that, sounds pretty easy. Okay, so right there, they all seem to come from just straight down. Am I expected to, like, memorize where she moves during that attack? Is there, like, a set pattern that she does? Don't care. I don't think I've game over yet. Have I? Bam! Just swat him out of the air like a fly swatter. Ah! I didn't see that. Whoa! Alright, that's not cool. That's very not cool. Ah, damn it. Wait, oh, I put a zero. I accidentally put a zero instead of a... Oh, okay. Can't even tell the difference. Yeah, that was my first continue. You're the mid boss, aren't you? Yeah? Yeah, I'm pretty sure.
just in case. It's better than dying. Ah, yes, here we are. This is around the point where I died. Look at me POCing like a boss. That's what I'm gonna call it from now on. POC. Call it Shrine Maiden's Intuition. I found you, Faker! There are more music people? Inverted. Yeah, I'm pretty sure the focus like thing does more damage than the regular old homing amulet. And I learned the hard way yet again that I have no bombs. Hmm. What a shame. Ah, yes, I see. I didn't see, but now I do see. I can see clearly now. The rain is gone. Okay, oh, okay. There we go. Now it makes sense. Whoa. I can't handle that with the previous rounds thing still around. What fresh hell awaits me? I see. What now? Ah, they come in towards me. That oh, and they freeze again. Oh, it's this is even more devilish than perfect freeze from the body of the Scarlet Devil. Which is quite honestly a memorable attack. Ah, now it's faster. Ah, I tried the bomb, but I didn't do it in time. Ah, this is this is bad. Oh, I for a second I thought I was out of continues. Okay. I still have a shot at this. Ah, I didn't see those there. I was too focused on the things that actually look like bullets. Screw it, screw it, screw it, screw it, screw it, screw it, screw it. Screw it. Ah, I didn't think I was close enough to that. Does like the little tail thing of the note hurt you then? Castle floating in the sky? Whoa! What's the floor and what's the ceiling anymore? I don't know. Oh, oh, I get it. I get it. They're coming from the bottom because it's flipped upside down. Oh, God, no. I get it. 
but I don't like it. Ah, this must mean I'm out of continues, right? Ah, balls. Yep, that was stage five. The specific request was to beat the 14th stage four boss before playing 14.3. Is that because I need to know who the character is? Let me find the original comment. Just to make absolutely sure. When you play Toho 14, can you fight stage four boss before moving on to Toho 14.3? Cause I wanna see a reaction. Ah. That is that boss is the main character in Toho 14.3. Okay. Right, so I need to know who the boss is to understand the next game. Well, I did it. I might have stopped earlier if I hadn't gotten that comment, but... I decided to give it another shot because I was that to, and so I intended to deliver. Anyway, uh, hope you enjoyed. See you in the next game. Bye!